Hey everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today we have an iPhone 10s Max, and we're going to show you how to change the language on this phone. So we're actually going to do this twice: one to change from English to another language, and the second time to change from another language to English. And in this case, we're going to use a language like Chinese, which you may not understand, but we'll show you how to do it without being able to read any of the menus. Super useful if you've ever bought a phone secondhand and it comes in a language you can't read. So uh, first go to the settings menu. So it's that gear and you want to look for general, which is this uh, gear here. And then you have a bunch of options, including language and region. So click on this and now you have the iPhone language and you can select from a ton of different uh, options and let's choose traditional Chinese Hong Kong and we'll just do done and it will warn you basically would you like to change to that language and once you do it basically automatically changes right away so it takes a second and now we're back where we were same exact menu but now it's uh, in, all in Chinese and so let's skip out here so now let's say we got this phone and we boot it up and it's all in Chinese and we need to figure out how to uh, switch it back to another language that we can understand. So basically you want to find that gear, uh, which is the settings menu. So in Chinese it actually looks like that, but basically just look for the gears, click on that and... Okay, so now let's try to change from Chinese back to English. So assuming you can't read Chinese, we'll show you exactly which things to click on. So you want to look for that gear uh, icon, which is for the settings. And that's what it looks like. That's the word settings in Chinese too, if you want to know. Um, so click on that. And now we get back to our settings list and we want to look for general. And if you recall, general is this one, which looks like a single gear and it says Iban. So click on that. And now we want to find language. And so here we are. It's this one, which is basically after AirDrop and CarPlay and then iPhone and app. It's the one right above iTunes Wi-Fi. This section, there's four in there. You want to take the third one, which is Yu Yen and Di Chu, which is basically language and region. So not this one, but this one. Click on that. And now this should look familiar. It's basically where we choose the language. And the first option here is the iPhone language. And right now we have traditional Chinese. So click on that. And now we get back to that language selection thing. So just click on English and click done and it asks you in Chinese to confirm. So just remember it's this one, not that one. This is to cancel. This is to change into English. Click on that setting language pops up and it's already going. So here we are. And uh, one other thing, you actually can select multiple languages. So in this case, like I guess the way that this works is this is separate from the keyboard language order but this is just for the preferred language order for like apps. So for example, if I were to pick English as my first choice, Chinese is my second choice, maybe Japanese is my third choice and Korean is my fourth choice. Uh, I think where this comes in is if you're, if you're say opening up a foreign app and maybe that app has a choice, it doesn't have English, but it might have Chinese and Japanese. And so depending on the, the order, it would choose Chinese before it would pick Japanese. So that's the only place I can think of that this would definitely be needed because it is separate than the keyboards, uh, which is in a separate option. And we'll actually do a separate video about that. So that's what you can set here. You can also set like obviously your calendar and your temperature units and other things like that by setting your region as well as separately. So that's basically it for changing the language on an iPhone 10s Max. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Do give us a thumbs up if this helped you please let us know in the comment section um, and definitely check out our other how-to videos for this phone and many others here on Howtex. Thanks and bye. Today we have an iPhone 10s Max. I'm going to show you how to insert and remove SIM cards. As you can see, we have two SIM cards and this is the Hong Kong edition of the phone.